Hey, what's going on, Fearless Family? This is Derek here with your Fearless Word of the Day. We're going to be reading out of Philippians chapter 4, verses 8 through 10 today. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. I rejoice greatly in the Lord that at last you renewed your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. So what is Paul talking to us about here? He's talking to us about what goes on between our ears throughout the day, right? What's going on up here? He tells us that we need to focus on, think about what is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, praiseworthy. And I don't think any of us would disagree. I mean, those are all good things that we should be thinking about, that we should be focusing on throughout the day. I didn't do that yesterday. I wonder how many of us have great intentions as the day begins, but as the day wears on, as the next meeting comes, as the next Zoom call comes for your student that you have to manage, as the next tough conversation comes, how many of us really focus on those things that are true, noble, pure, lovely. It's hard. It really is. And so my question is, what do we do? How do we renew our mind to think in a new way? To think in a way that is more Christ-like. Because if we can work on changing our thinking, we can then begin to work on changing our heart to be more like God. So what do we do? Honestly, we have been given the Holy Spirit who lives inside of us, who is always with us, Christ with us. All we need to do is ask for help. And my wife will tell you, I'm not always the first person to ask for help when I need it. But as someone who has tried again and again and again to fix myself, I want to tell you it doesn't work. It's never going to work if you try and fix yourself. The only person who can fix you is the one that made you. Because he knows how you work. He knows what's wrong. and He can fix it. But we need to renew our minds. We need to ask for God's help. And here's how you do it. You say, God, Holy Spirit, if you've never spoken to the Holy Spirit, you can do that. Say, Holy Spirit, would you please help me now? Help me change the way I think so that it can be more like that of Christ. I'm messed up and I need help. That's okay to say. Every time you're struggling, go to God and ask for help. I've had it once 30 times a day. And that's all right, because he's there every time to help. So as you go on with your day and your week, ask God for help. Go to him. He has given us his Holy Spirit for this purpose, to help renew our hearts and minds so we can be more like Christ Jesus. Have a great day, everyone. Love you all. We'll see you later.